In this video, we're taking a road trip up the Rio Grande Gorge to visit Taos, New Mexico. There are several scenic routes to Taos, and on this trip, we're driving along what is known as the Low Road to Taos, which is Highway 68 from Española, and it follows the Rio Grande. We'll stop at the Rio Grande Gorge Visitor Center and make our way to the scenic Rio Grande Gorge Bridge. So come along and welcome to Swifty Travels. So all along Highway 68 between Española and Taos, there's several pullouts to enjoy these amazing views and there's a lot of river activities. In this area, the spring especially, has rafting. You can see kayakers and fly fishing. Um, it's a great, beautiful place to get out. Now on today's drive, I took the low road to Taos, which is Highway 68 from Española up to Taos, and it follows the Rio Grande, with beautiful cliffs on one side and the river on the other. And I just stopped at the Rio Grande Gorge Visitor Center. There's beautiful views, there's interesting information about the um, artifacts that have been found in the area and about the river. A lot of the river rafting tours take off from this parking lot right here. Visitor Center provides information about the recreational experiences that can be had in the area, as well as the geological and natural history of this diverse location. It's open seven days a week from Memorial Day through October. To get to the Gorge Bridge from the Visitor Center, you can take the back roads along the river. It does turn to dirt and is a bit rough in spots, or you can continue as I did along 68 through the town of Taos, and then on to the north side of Taos on Highway 64 to the Gorge Bridge. Me and my husband came and carved our name in the bridge, handrail, way back in the 90s. I don't think I'll be able to find that again. And I even remembered back then that this bridge was featured in the movie Natural Born Killers. There's quite a few other movies that it's been featured in. But now they have a visitor center, a place to park. You can park on the east side of the bridge They don't really want you parking right on the west side of the bridge, but as soon as the signs that say no parking went away, I went ahead and parked. I'm gonna go to the visitor center as well, but the sun is so beautiful right now, shining on the canyon that I'd like to show you. sure it's been windy here on every single occasion that I've visited so you can always count on the wind but the Sun is shining so beautifully right now the bridge moving a little bit when the cars go by and there's apparently a little bit of contention about whether this is one of the tallest bridges in the United States I think at one time it was and then there was some they had difficulty confirming whether it was 650 feet or 600 feet to the bottom exactly where do you measure that So several years ago, I was up here for a concert at the uh, Taos Mesa Brewing and I met a kid who was a late teens and he lived here, went to high school here in Taos and that year there was something like eight suicides in their community, many from this bridge. So that is something to be taken seriously and I think the community has debated whether to do something to protect from suicides, although it would take away from the beauty. Um, so I don't know the current status of that, but I do see the crisis hotlines here at the bridge.
There was the most beautiful puffy cotton ball-y clouds over the gorge, but of course this one little rain cloud came overhead and now it's spitting some decent rain, but it'll be gone in about 10 minutes or less. That's what you can count on in New Mexico is the rain comes and goes really quick. So I'm gonna just wait it out of my car. What I thought was a visitor center is actually just a rest area. It's a place to park, restrooms, and then there's a path that goes to one side of the bridge so that you can look on it. So after it stops raining and the sun comes out again, I'm gonna go take a few shots. Um, I was hoping for that golden hour glow, but the rain may prevent that today, we'll see. It's beautiful nonetheless. So this is something you definitely need to see. It's about eight to 10 miles um, just outside of Taos on the north side of town, right at the intersection to where if you go east, it heads to the ski area, and if you go west, it heads to the Rio Grande Gorge. That literally was just a couple minutes and the rain is gone. And the sun has come out to lighten up the bridge. You can see, here's a view of the, the rest area and the parking lot. And then there's a trail. These people are hiking, walking down a little further. I think I'm gonna go for a nice walk as well. Do you see the beauty right now? This is just spectacular. guy I bet is a photographer he's got all his gear in a chair waiting for golden hour would be my guess this in the distance is Wheeler Peak this is the tallest peak in New Mexico okay it appears they're filming something here and they look kind of professional I don't know what it is they're like in cowboy gear and this guy's painting Definitely have more professional gear than I do. This looks interesting. Somebody has their drone out. Oh, I wish I had a drone. This would be an amazing place to fly a drone. Just for the record, it might be hard to hear me with all the wind, but this is a lovely rest area. They do have covered picnic tables, several of them. Nice bathrooms with running water, flush toilets, and some heat. It does say the property is under surveillance 24 seven. This is an absolutely spectacular view. This would be a fantastic place for a sunset time lapse. Unfortunately, I don't have time for that today. I am hungry and I'm going to go check into my hotel. On this trip I'm staying at the Taos Valley Lodge. It's been remodeled so I'm going to go check in and look for something for dinner.